Hi, welcome to PrimaPrep.com. Today we're going to be talking about the big debate, whether to do the electric razor versus the blade. Now, I guess what I really want to try to cover in this video is kind of go over the pros and cons of each relative to each other, and then kind of let you come up with your own decision, you know? So I guess we'll first go over the electric razor. I guess the first thing you'd have to make with the electric razor is whether you're going to go with the rotary or the foil. Um, I got an article actually that kind of compares the two and kind of lets you know which ones are the best. Uh, so be sure to check that out. But just for purposes of this discussion, we'll go in general aspect in terms of the pros and cons of this versus the blade. Um, I guess the biggest pro for the electric razor is that it is fast. You can get your shave done quick and easily. Um, and there's zero learning curve. You kind of just plug and play, I guess you would say. So that's definitely a big pro. So if you're in a big rush, you, you got to get out the door, you got to get to work, or your foreman's going to, you know, chomp your head off, uh, be sure to just use the electric razor. Uh, the cordless models, you can take them anywhere. You can even, you know, shave when you're driving. I cannot suggest that in terms of for safety purposes, but it is an option. Um, you don't need any additional supplies. You buy your one model of electric razor and you're good to go. Um, you can use it in the shower, at least some models, obviously. Um, and they can be very clean, minimal cleanup, especially if you get one that has like a, a vacuum built inside of it or something like that. There's various models that do that. Um, and a pro can be minimal maintenance um, especially if you've got one of the models that has a self-cleaning system. Uh, in terms of cons, I would say the biggest con is that you're not going to get that close of a shave, especially when you're talking relative to blades. Uh, so that's the biggest con. Obviously, the quality of the shave, the closeness of the shave, is going to differ in terms of the brand and quality of your electric shaver, but I don't think it will ever match the quality and the closeness of the blade. At least I haven't experienced that or heard that yet so far. Um, initial cost can be kind of high. These things aren't cheap, especially the higher quality ones. Um, you are reliant on power. So if it goes out on you and you're on the road, well, you're pretty screwed. You kind of shit out of luck. Uh, <laughs> You're gonna have a half shaven face at work and that's not gonna be um, too attractive. So uh, it also, people complain sometimes that's kind of a loud, annoying buzzing noise. Uh, obviously some people are more irritated than others about this. Um, and then back to the maintenance portion, depending on the brand and model, there might be actually more maintenance necessary for the electric razor versus the blade. So that's about wraps it up for the electric razor. Um, when we're talking about the blade, you obviously have a variety of choices. You know, you've got the Chevette, you've got the straight razor, and you've got the double edge safety razor. Um, the biggest pro, no matter what blade you decide on, is that you get that baby bottom smooth shave, that great, real nice close shave. Um, and you can't beat that with you know, against the electric razor. Uh, it's also cheapest in terms of a long-term perspective. Uh, there's a lot of been studies and calculations. Uh, various people have done it. Uh, I think one result was like you save, when comparing the blade versus let's say the uh, disposable razors, using disposable razors, you can save like $1,000 over five years. So pretty good savings there. So something to consider, especially if uh, you're budget conscious. Um, also, less irritation um, and less chance of razor bumps. Uh, the single blade, it really, you know, allows you to get that quick, uh, nice, smooth shave, but without irritation, uh, if done right. And I guess when we're talking about if done right, that's kind of one of the cons here is that it does have a bit of a learning curve. You know, it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. Uh, so that's something, you know, you have to consider, you have to invest that time to figure it out and how, how to do it uh, properly on your face. Um, 
And the other con I would say is it does take more time overall for the process itself. So you do need to, you know, budget a little bit more time in the morning uh, before you go to work, you know, to be able to properly get a good smooth shave with the blade. So that about covers it in terms of the pros and cons for each one. Um, be sure to check out the article. It's actually, there's a link in this video as well as in the description below. We kind of compare the pros and cons even in greater detail of the two. And we also do a little pros and cons, you know, for the disposal razor as well. So you got to kind of see how they all compare against each other. And uh, hopefully this was helpful. And uh, I guess till next time. Thanks.